Hi guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be on the April California Love & Indies box. This is a seasonal box that is always inspired by California. So for April, I was actually asked to be the guest maker. The originator of the box is Static Lacquer. You guys have seen this brand on my channel from Polish Pickup. And the maker asked me to participate with her as a fellow California indie maker. And we decided upon the inspiration of California poppies. So if you don't know, the poppy flower is the California state flower. And right now they are blossoming everywhere. Specifically, we decided to use the Antelope Valley Poppy Nature Reserve for our inspiration, which really, really appealed to me. Firstly, because I'm from California, this is my state flower, and we, where I grew up, poppies were covering all the hillsides during this time of the year. But I also used to live in Antelope Valley. I've been to the nature reserve. So when Stacy from Static Lacquer suggested that to me, it was just kind of like kismet. It all just clicked in and I was like, yes, this is perfect. So we started creating these polishes months ago and I'm so excited to finally talk with you about them. They do launch tomorrow on April 19th. Since this is a pre-order box, what you're purchasing is both polishes together. They come as a duo. You're also getting a few extras. There's a gorgeous holographic decal. It says California Love and Indies. And then you're also receiving some adorable magnets. There are two from each of the makers in the box. So there's two for the poppy colored orange that I created for this box. And then two for Static Lacquer's white base Crelly. I always love polish magnets. I feel like it showcases the color in such a fun way. So these are coming with your pre-order as well. The box is gonna be $22 plus shipping. The pre-sale will be running from Friday the 19th through Monday the 22nd. And they won't ever be available at a different time or on my website or anything. You need to head to staticlacquer.com to purchase if you would like to. So we're going to go ahead and start to swatching. We just have two polishes to swatch so it's going to be quick and fast and you can be on your way for the day. Today on my nails I'm wearing Static Lacquer's polish and it's called Poppy Fields Forever and it's adorable. And then on my lips, you guys, this lippy was a little bit stressful to work with. Um, red lippies always are but this one was kind of like a wet paint. I got this in a mystery lippy box or bag from Sephora which I was a fan of because one of the products in there was a mystery and I always like a little mystery. Um, <laughs> this one is NARS Star Woman and uh, it says Power Matte Lip Pigment. It's very comfortable to wear but it was kind of messy to work with. Um, it comes with a very stiff applicator and um, I don't know I like it but it was stressful and if I colored outside the lines a little bit Please just bear with me. Give me a little break on that. It was a hard lipstick to work with. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. We, I always go in alphabetical order, which means I'm gonna start with the Moonshine Manny Polish because this one does begin with an A. I decided to call this polish Antelope Valley Gold. This polish is just always going to have a special place in my heart because I named it after a place that I lived. Antelope Valley is where the nature reserve is. I'm gonna pop up a picture here for you. Um, isn't it? stunning you guys it's just absolutely covers this area and it's just so beautiful to visit so i created this poppy orange jelly base and i wanted to fill it with a lot of golden components i also put some multi-chrome in there that goes between a red to copper to gold to green so you are getting some green flashes i wanted to bring out some earthy tones in there as well it also has some red to bronze to copper multi-chrome flakes so lots of flaky things in here lots of sparkle a really really warm shade that's how I feel about poppies. They just are coming out when the season is getting warmer and the color just reminds me of late spring and summer. It reminds me of my childhood just playing outside at that time of year. This polish also emanates the kind of warmth that I feel when I think about poppies. So I'm just going to do two coats for you of this polish. This is Antelope Valley Gold. I'm going to finish it off with top coat and it was such a treat for me to make this polish and such a personal inspiration for me and I wasn't even the one who suggested it. Like I said, Stacy's suggestion just clicked for me. It was perfect. So this is my offering and one half of the duo. The second half of the duo is from Static Lacquer and like I mentioned, this is a gorgeous white base Crelly. It's so cute. It combines orange holographic glitters in a bunch of different sizes and it also has green holographic glitters. I love that Stacy's polish shows the whole flower from stem to tip and I just think it's so fun. She's also created kind of a perfect white base Crelly here. It's not too opaque, but it's giving you a perfect 
rounded opacity in two coats. You can still see plenty of glitter. Tons come out with each pass. I didn't have to do any fishing or anything like that. And I also love that you've got the holographic element in there. These really, really sparkle. And I'm such a fan of this polish. And again, this one, I will treasure it forever. This was such a fun collaboration to work on. This is Poppy Fields Forever. And I just did two coats and top coat to finish everything off. And that is the whole April California Love and in Indies box. So you guys, thanks for joining me for this video. I hope that you enjoyed these polishes. Like I said, these are going to be available for pre-sale from the 19th through the 22nd. I'll try to put a few reminders on my social media so that you don't miss out on those dates. And I really appreciate you being here for this video, you guys. I hope you go out and have a great rest of your day and until the next one, take care. Bye.